Last year, we opened our doors to Stanford University that came in with the objective of quantifying our environmental impact. The, the key elements of this life cycle analysis was to compare um, how metals make their way into battery materials today, which is through mining, the impact of not just the processing, but also really the supply chain, so the movements of these metals across the globe, and then compare that to recycling, how Redwood um, designs our flow sheets in recycling. We really gave untethered access to Stanford to look at the full details of our flow sheet so they know the reagents we use, the reactions we use, the energy that we consume on site, and they can do their own independent analysis of our full process. The most important result for us of this Stanford study was really a validation of something that we all hoped to be true and expected to be true, which is that recycling uses much less energy, much less water, and produces much less carbon dioxide than mining raw virgin minerals. They also looked at a comparison of our recycling process here that we do at Redwood. A process involving reductive calcination results in a 40% lower environmental impact versus other recycling processes as well. Our two most important projects right now at Redwood are really turning uh, the raw material that we've recovered from these recycling feedstocks into finished products that we can sell back into the battery production stream. So we're in the middle of constructing a major expansion of our copper foil plant, uh, going to 10 gigawatt hours a year of production in Nevada, and also the first phases of what will eventually be a 100 gigawatt hour per year cathode active material plant, also in Nevada. Recycling is important that it gets to scale an industrially relevant scale quickly. We've already shown that we can do that much faster than you can open a new virgin materials mine. We're already the largest nickel mine to open in America in the last decade. If you looked at us a year ago, we had really not much running at industrial scale. And today we have our reductive calcination facility running. We have copper foil running and producing commercial quality foil and we have our hydrometallurgy facility up and running at industrially relevant scale, tens of thousands of tons per year. We did that in about two years. We want to learn how to do it faster in order to be able to keep up with the amount of refining capacity that the world is going to need for this transition. We're excited for the release of this study, which is the culmination of a lot of work by some talented researchers. It's a great first step for us, um, not only in this tradition of life cycle analysis, but in continuing to expand our industrial facilities while simultaneously considering their environmental impact.